Hello students, welcome back. This one mark question is from gate 2010 exam. We are required to find the output of this multiplexer. Okay. Now you see select lines of this multiplexer are P and Q. Whenever both the select lines are 0, 0, that means P bar, Q bar. In this case, multiplexer will automatically select this as the output. Okay. So R is going to be the output. So I'm writing R here. Plus, second case is when P is 0, Q is 1. Okay, 0, 1. In this case, this one will be the output. In case of 1, 0, this one will be the output. Okay, so let's write R bar here. Next one is 1, 0. That means P is 1, Q is 0. In this case also, you can see output as R bar. Okay, and the last case is when both of them are 1, 1. P is 1 as well as Q is 1. So this has to be the output. It's property of multiplexer that when both the select lines are 1, 1, it will connect this to the output. So whatever is connected here will be the output. It's R. So I'm writing R here. Why do you think this has to work? Like, what is the logic behind writing equation in such a way? See, let us analyze this term only. Whenever both of them are 1, 1, I want to write equation in such a way that final output becomes R. The final output must be R when both of them are 1, 1. See, it's given in the question. Okay. Substitute 1, 1 in place of P and Q everywhere. This will be 0. This one will be 0. This one will be 0. Okay. Only P dot Q will be 1. All these terms are the, uh, zeros. This is 1 dot R. Okay, so that's the reason I'm writing PQ dot R. See, if the output that I wanted is 1, so I will write PQ dot 1 only. But in this case, I wanted the output to be R, so I'm writing PQ dot R. Anyways, this is the equation that we get. Let's see which of the following options match. Now, you see we have XOR of PQR and complement of this XOR. These two options are related to XOR. These two options are related to OR. This is OR and this one is complement of OR. You can clearly see this has to be option B. This is your answer. How can I say that option B is your answer? Option B is XOR of three variables. XOR of three variables will output one only when odd number of inputs are one. When odd number of these three variables are one, the output is going to be one. That is what this equation is saying. This says all three are one. Okay. Three is odd number. And these three terms say any one of them is one. See R is one or Q is one or P is one. That means any one is one. Three is also odd number, one is also odd number. Each and every case is covered when any odd number of inputs are one. Okay, so this is the equation for XOR. Your answer is option B. Okay.